That little shit was me. Then uh, 1986, I got the opportunity to go to Germany in seventh grade. The summer after seventh grade, you know, when I was 13, I'm wondering if I was ever going to be over four feet tall. But I got to go with a camera like this and this exact tape. They say the Russians just invaded West Germany. It was the 80s and Russia and the Eastern Bloc were clearly the bad guys. Hollywood had pretty much confirmed for me that I was gonna die in a nuclear house. I knew we were going to Berlin, but I didn't realize that we were going to get to go to East Berlin and see it before the historic events that three years later that would ultimately end up with the reunification of Germany and the um, ending of the Soviet Union. We started in West Berlin, got a peek at Checkpoint Charlie. What the fuck is he taking pictures of me for? I've been erected a memorial of people who tried to escape through the river spray here in France. The river spray is belonging completely to East Berlin. Only the bank of the river is West Berlin, but the water is belonging to East Berlin. And then went along the wall and got to see no man's land. So we spent a day learning about West Berlin and the division and, and some of the horrible things that happened and the effort that people went to cross the border. Have you ever seen the movie Gotcha? Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll sleep with some foreign spy. But the next morning we took an early morning subway train uh, actually to East Berlin and it, it, was, it was creepy because you pass by closed, shuttered subway stations with uh, East German guards. So after spending a couple days in modern Berlin, which very seemed like, you know, the rest of Germany, uh, it, we all of a sudden were thrust into this place that was very different. The modern city had changed into this almost third world drab country in the span of that 20 minute subway ride. The cars were different, the fashion was different. The only thing the same was that we were there and we were still kids. Um, along the way, we got to see, I guess, my only goose-stepping soldiers that I've ever seen uh, doing an honor guard change. Finally, we ended up at Alexanderplatz. To this day, it's the heart of the city and it's where the uh, unification essentially started. You remember trying to buy a Coke, but there was only their cola and it, it tasted like it had very little sugar, which was probably a good thing. And I also remember lunch being this kind of uh, cold cured meat. This is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Reporting tonight from Berlin. From the Berlin Wall specifically, take a look at them. They've been there since last night. They are here in the thousands. They are here in the tens of thousands. Occasionally they shout, Die Mauer muss weg, the wall must go. Thousands and thousands of West Germans come to make the point that the wall has suddenly become irrelevant. I remember specifically though, when I saw the news that the wall was coming down, I remember thinking that those people would finally have cool cars and better food and maybe Coca-Cola. Hey, how you doing? Am I in West Berlin now? Sure. Fuck you! Good night. I've been wanting to do that for the last six months. <laughs> 